Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In today's video I'll teach you how I did this interactive quiz that looks like a game show and everyone can participate from their phones is incredible and I made it all in PowerPoint. So for this video we're gonna use an add-in and these are basically plugins that you can install into PowerPoint and they extend some features of the program some of them are illustration galleries, or maybe they have emojis, etc. And for this tutorial, we're gonna use one add-in called ClassPoint. And basically you can download this one from classpoint.io. And this is honestly my favorite add-in for teachers, because with this one, you can embed a timer or you can create draggable objects in PowerPoint. You can also create quizzes and word clouds and it honestly takes PowerPoint to a whole different level. So we're going to go to the download button here and it's going to start downloading this file. And once it's done, you just have to click on it and then just follow the steps from the installation wizard. So you can start using it in PowerPoint. So now when you open PowerPoint, you'll notice that there's a new tab here called Ink No Class Point. And this is where all the cool features are that we're gonna use later on in this tutorial. So now on a blank slide, we're gonna right click, format background, select gradient field. We're gonna drag these handles down. And then I'm gonna change the direction of the gradient to a diagonal. And I'm going to change the right handle to a purple and the one on the left, I'm going to change it to a navy blue. And I'm just going to bring the handles a little bit closer to each other so we have a more dramatic gradient. Now we're going to go to insert and we're going to pick a rounded rectangle here. Remember that with the yellow dot here, you can change the roundness of the corners. And to make sure it's centered, just go to align, align to middle. Then I'm gonna change the color of the shape to black and I'm gonna increase the transparency just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add a gradient line, get rid of the handles here, just um, leave those two. And for one end, I'm gonna pick uh, orange and the other one will be yellow. And I'm just gonna increase the width. Now let's insert a rectangle here. And for this one, we're gonna pick solid line as well, but we're gonna change the color to white and we're gonna change the compound type to this one with two lines. And again, I'm gonna increase the width. And for the fill, I'm gonna select a gradient fill, but this time I'm gonna pick a vertical gradient and I'm gonna change the colors to a light blue and a dark blue. And just move the handles and play around with them um, until you find a gradient that you like. And then double click on that shape so you can start writing your text. And this will be the fields for our answers. And in my case, I'm gonna have three different fields because it will be three different cities. And in a minute, you'll see the question that I'm asking for this quiz. If you hold control on your keyboard and drag down, um, that's a way to duplicate these shapes. And with all of them selected, go to align and distribute vertically. So they are all evenly distributed. I'm gonna finish writing my answers for this question. And then I'm going to write my question, which is which of these options is the largest city in Australia? Now let's create our very own game show logo. So I'll just look for marquee lights stickers on giphy.com and I'm going to pick this one right here. So you just have to right click, copy image and then go to PowerPoint and control V to paste it and I'm just gonna move it up and then I'm gonna insert around the rectangle here and then I'm gonna get rid of the outline so just select no outline here and change the shape color to black. 
then right click on the GIF and bring to front and I'm gonna write the name of my imaginary game show which is the class games which is not the most creative thing but I think it works now I'm gonna change the color of the text to yellow to make it look more real I found this image on free peak and I'm just gonna add it as a kind of watermark in the background so right click copy image and then paste it it doesn't matter that the image is a little bit um, small because it's just gonna be in the background as a watermark I like to keep all of my objects tidy so I'll go to picture format and click on crop and then just move the handles until they touch the edges of the slide and I'm gonna make the image just a little bit larger and then I'll go to picture transparency here and increase the transparency and now we have this super subtle background that kind of blends with the gradient I'll also create an answer slide so I'll just duplicate it with Control D and I'm gonna get rid of everything that I don't need and in my case I'm just gonna leave the correct answer which it's Sydney and obviously once you do this once you basically set up a template for all of your other questions and you just have to replace the text which is super quick so here I'll add a little description um, if I want to extend my answer maybe you just want to give some details about um, that particular answer or some additional information and then I'm gonna copy an image and I'm gonna paste it into my slide with Control V I'm gonna right click send to back and then I'll go to picture format crop and I'm just gonna reduce the size so we only get to see a part of our image for the transition we're just gonna keep it simple with a fade transition now let's move on to the fun part which is making this interactive so click on the class point add-in that you install and then on multiple choice and a button just appeared so from this panel here we're gonna select the number of choices that we have on that slide which in this case is three and we're gonna pick the correct answer which in this case is A Sydney and then we can close that panel there and basically we just set up our button so now when you go into slideshow mode you'll notice that there's a code here that basically means that anyone can join with their phone or with their tablet or with their computer and they just have to go to classpoint.app and put in the code that it's showing on the screen and then they can set up their name, add a profile picture and if you're on presenter mode you'll see how everyone is joining and you'll get to see who's playing, who got the answers right, etc and if you're the presenter you just have to click on the button that you created here and if you're participating you'll notice that now you get to pick an answer for the slide that's showing up on screen so let's say that I'm a very clever person and I pick the right answer the presenter will see how many people answered that question in real time and then you can stop the submissions time and if you click on show correct answer your class will be notified if they got the correct answer or the wrong answer and to make it more fun you can give away some stars to your awesome students and if you click on insert a slide they'll see how many people answered correctly and who got it unfortunately wrong and then you just can continue with your slideshow now I think that class point is a really good add-in because you get this panel here when you're on slideshow mode 
you can draw on your slides in real time like for example if I want to showcase that this one is the Opera House I can just add that and whoever is connected to the class will see the changes in real time you can also use a highlighter to maybe highlight some of the words in our presentation you can insert shapes etc and they just launch an AI feature as well that can create automatic quizzes for you so make sure to check that one out on classpoint.io and the cool thing is that once you exit the slideshow mode everything that you did is now added as a text or as a shape in your slides and you can change colors or fonts etc and the results slides is inserted as well and that's pretty much it guys that's how I did this interactive quiz in PowerPoint and I will leave all the details in the description box of this video so you can download ClassPoint for PowerPoint as always thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram on TikTok at LurutiaPPT Thank you so much and I will see you on my next video.